everyone i would like to show you how to easily sign out of your apple id icloud and itunes account in ios 14. so with the ios 14 update the location is slightly changed i'm going to show you the old location then i'm going to show you the new location keep in mind this tutorial will take two minutes let's get started so open up settings and the old location was right here you see app store but when you tap on this you can see there is no option to sign out anymore so where's the new location well, the Apple ID and iCloud area has been bundled at the top. So you should see your name and you'll see Apple ID, iCloud, Media and Purchases. So you tap on this, it's going to show you your email right here. And if you have separate emails for your Apple ID and iCloud, you will see both emails listed. Now, if we go to Media and Purchases, it will ask you to sign in and you can't sign out directly there. They have bundled the sign out button right at the bottom. Now. We're going to tap on sign out and here's what's up it's going to ask us to enter in the apple id password for your email to turn off find my iphone now keep this in mind if you don't know this login just do not proceed do not factory reset your device do not update it at all here's why because if you do that you will never be able to use the iphone again because apple has this lock where if you don't know this login then if you update, if you factory reset, you will never be able to use the iPhone again. Now, if you bought this as a um, device off of eBay or Craigslist or whatever, keep in mind, if you paid by cash, you got scammed. But if you used eBay or PayPal, I would first contact the seller, ask them for um, them to remove, find my um, iPhone, because you can do that using the internet or to find my application. If they refuse or if they dodge the question, then get a full refund through eBay's money back guarantee or PayPal chargeback. If you need help doing that, then there are some tutorials on the internet. I haven't made one, so you probably want to check that out. So I'm actually going to type in my Apple ID password right now and I'll show you that I've signed out. Okay. So the process will start and it will sign us out of Find My. There we go. And now it will say right here, keep a copy of your data on this iPhone. So when you sign out, if you um, disable all of these, all of the data for calendars, contacts, keychain and Safari will be removed. However, if you want to keep them, you want to enable these toggles. For me, this is a spare iPhone 10, So I'm going to get rid of it. We'll tap on sign out again and it's going to um, copy all of your existing data to iCloud and then remove it off of your device so it really is this easy to be honest you know it doesn't need to be 10 minutes it can be literally two so it's going to do the process and eventually we should be signed out and we should have there we go you can see has completely signed the sound now keep in mind I didn't get the option, but if you have a Apple ID and a separate uh, iCloud login, it will give you the option to sign out of one or the other. Or if you want to sign out of both, it will also give you the option to sign out of both. So now we've signed out, you can see, you know, the App Store page still is the exact same. That's because the um, sign in has completely moved to here. So that's how to sign out of your Apple ID running iOS 14. All devices are supported um i will leave my ios 14 playlist in the uh, description if you are interested uh, there are a bunch of cool things so like i'm touching the back of my device right here and it does cool action so i can enable um control center triple tap to um enable multitasking there you go so hopefully you enjoyed bye bye